Hello everyone, welcome to Love Choice. I saw this game just scrolling through the Steam shop. I thought it looked cute. Um, I think it has a deep message I don't fully know. But let's see what it has for us. Please wear headphones for the best experience. Akaba... Uh, I don't know how to say their names. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let me check if, if you can hear the whole thing. Yes, you can. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's go into options and uh, lower the music a little bit more. Full screen, yes. Okay. Album. Okay. Oh, alrighty. Love distance. I'm gonna go love game first. I'm a game developer. There's a game jam today. A game jam is a game developer's development event. Participating particip participants have just 48 hours to make a game around a given given theme. Sometimes, if you're lucky, there might be girls in your game jam team. <laughs> I guess my team didn't have much luck this this time. Aww. The jam starts on a Friday afternoon. Most of the teams will spend the first night coming up with ideas and design, designing their game. Everything is going well with my team. We quickly came up with idea with an idea, so I'm taking a short break to have a look around. That's when I notice her. Her team is sitting next to mine. It looks like her team is in the middle of an intense discussion. Then I heard one of them say, let's just take a break and try again in, a, in 10 minutes. <gasps> her teammates leave their chairs, leaving her alone, writing her notes. This is my chance to talk to her, I think to myself. I check my hair, my hair and clothes and put on the best smile I can. I walk over to her acting as natural as possible. Hey, um, ex, um, can we be friends? Would you like to hear about our game idea? Oof. Do I go like childish? Well, it's not childish, it's just more so like kind of what a kid would say like, hey, want to be friends? Um, I feel like this can come off as like um, egotistical, like want to hear about our game. So let's just go with the, hey, I'm X, can we be friends? She appears to be feeling awkward, but she politely introduces herself. Hi, um. Oh. Oh, X and O. After the game jam ended, I found her through the web chat. Although it's kind of awkward at first, we quickly became pen pals, sharing our secrets and feelings. My friends say even though I didn't get an award at the game jam, I was a real winner. I can argue with that. I'm so lucky to have met her. Aww. Two weeks later, we were texting through WeChat. Now I'm waiting for a good opportunity to ask her out to a movie. And maybe dinner. Can I check Twitter? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, my boss got mad at me today. But I just did exactly what he asked me to. And now he's blaming it on me. How can I not be upset? It's just a communication problem. Boss always takes credit, and subordinates take the blame. Yeah, it'd be like that. Um. It's probably just a communication error, dude. It's most of the time it is. Per perhaps he didn't do it on purpose. I know I have. you have generous heart. Just forgive him. There's more. None of my colleagues are willing to defend me. That wasn't fair. Wage, earner, wage earners like them would never often offend the boss. I probably didn't know the whole story. Uh, well, yeah, they probably didn't know the whole story. I wanted to go for the other one. <laughs> I wanted to create drama. They didn't know the facts, so they decided to keep their mouths shut. I'm, I'm still upset. 
Why don't you hang out with me this weekend? Just like, that'll make you happy. Me. Just have some fun, okay? Okay. We're gonna watch a, we're gonna go watch a movie. Woman who pout romantic, romantic comedy. Sherlock Holmes mystery. Juan. Oh, it, it's like Juan. Uh, Copperman. We could, I think we can all enjoy a mystery. Maybe? Or do we want to be like... I don't know. Do we want to be like a fucking... I don't know how you say it in English. Cursi. Do we want to be cursi? Mm. Let's go mystery. I, I think everybody can enjoy a fun mystery. This movie looks great. Wanna watch it? Yeah. I'm a Let's fucking go, boys! We're in. I I didn't get to read the whole thing. I was I was too busy celebrating. Okay, I've got the movie tickets. I should find a fancy restaurant somewhere near the cinema for our date. You can never be too prepared for a date. I should try to find a maybe uh -huh. Click the good restaurants to add them to your favorite. Avoid the bad ones. Prepare for your first date. Play. Are they gonna- Oh, they are. Oh. I was like, are they gonna fall out of the sky? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm- Nope. There. <clears throat> Come on. This is probably made in a game jam, not thinking about it. Come on. There, there, there! there. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, shit. Oh, lord. think it's this one? Yes. Bless me. <laughs> uh, thank you. Okay. I'm gonna be prepared. I didn't see what it was. I just, I was continuing just looking at that. Oh, there's two. Okay. I'm gonna have mo both my hands. Okay. Okay. I think there's this one. And I think there's this. Let's go! I did it with my hands. I was I had them over my fucking desk, or uh, over my uh, yeah. I think I can find more play again. That should that should do it. It's finally the day of our date. It's my first time sitting next to her. Oh, I can't help feeling a little nervous. I just keep telling myself to calm down and focus on the movie. I'm not tearing up. You're pissing your pants. Um, the movie ends and we stay in our seats until everyone ha else has gone. The movie was kind of interesting. It was great, although it was different from the original. <laughs> but I can tell that the director put his heart and soul into it and tried to make it feel similar to the original in ways. So what's next? I know a no nice restaurant mi nearby. Um, sushi is expensive. South Asian cuisine, hot pot, Cantonese dim sum. <laughs> um, sushi is expensive. I've never tried a hot pot. Uh, I've never tried any of these. I don't think. So let's figure out uh, South Asia, Southeast uh, Asian cuisine. I feel like the south of for every country is very seasoned, so I think you you can't go wrong with going south. You know what I mean? Um, sure, I'm not picky. Aww. Moonlight paints a silver outline outline around her face. I can hear my heartbeat as I look at her. We're becoming closer and closer. We don't even need to speak. There's already a tac tac hit understanding between us. I don't think there's anything more to be said. I think it's okay to ask. Um, that was the beginning of our story. I mean, holding hands on the first date, I don't think that's too much. Uh, we talk to each other all the, all the time now. 
We always discuss things we have in common. We are eager to understand each other more deeply. It's like we want to zoom in and look closely in each other's hearts. No, I gotta go. Okay, bye. <gasps> no, dude, what the fuck you game? Oh, I don't mean any of this, ma'am. Can I stop it? I don't want to be mean. <gasps> she still likes to tell me all the troubles in her daily life, just like she used to. I believe I, cl I believe a clever girl like her should be able to handle these kinds of problems herself. Still, she always seems to be upset about them. My boss got mad at me today. I just did exactly what he asked me to. I know you let me win on me. Should I side with her right now? <laughs> I feel like this can be dismissive now. So I'm gonna go with this. Most bo most bosses are the same. Take credit and let this don't take it too personally. There's more. Now my killings are willing to the ah. <laughs> Probably didn't know. I feel like this still is fine. They probably didn't know the whole story. Cause the last thing we want to do is like make her think she's against the. Uh... <gasps> Did I do wrong, girly pop? <laughs> when you get closer, you start noticing flaws that you didn't see at first. Trouble always arises between couples. Either I bow to her, or she bows to me. There's no third answer, is there? <laughs> when I get home from work, she's watching her favorite Korean TV series. Empty food boxes and tissues are everywhere. Um... We trust her. We trust her. We, she can clean it up herself. Time goes by so fast. It's already been three years since we met. Three years ago we met at Game Jam. You came over to talk to me. <clears throat> Honestly, I felt awkward when you first spoke to me. Perhaps you should act more naturally. We started chatting more after that. Gradually, you became the one I talked to the most. Do you still remember our first date? We watched my favorite movie. I guess you did some research, huh? But you didn't try to. F but you didn't try to find out what kind of food I liked. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the first time we held hands? I felt that on a beautiful night like that. Words would ha have only ruined the mood. We had more time to get to know each other afterwards. We talked about. Hobbies we had in common, common, and shared uh, everything in our lives. But our talks only ever scratched the surface. <clears throat> I always wanted to share more personal thoughts with you. Though we have a good time together, sometimes we fight. <laughs> You're so stubborn. <laughs> You're so stubborn when we fight. I don't always want to be the one to apologize first. It means we always end up fighting about little things. I hope you al you always be there as a listener for me. Maybe I shouldn't be s get so <clears throat> so get so upset about those little problems in my life. I know I can handle them, but sometimes I just want to hear you to hear me out and share my feelings. I want <clears throat> I want you to know that I need more than. Cold advice, I'm not your colleague. Fuck, dude. I was trying, like... I felt like both were cold, dude. We're not perfect. I 
can't believe that neither of us you should have to concede to the other. I once said a relationship won't last long. But sometimes I just want you to tolerate my shortcomings. I do good. No. Did my sudden letter scare you? I have shared my feelings like this before. But this will be the first and only time. Sadly, we didn't make it. But I'll never regret, regret our relationship. I've learned a lot from it. I wish you all the best. Goodbye. Nah, bro. Let me see if I can get another fucking ending. No shot. No shot it ends in a fucking breakup. Can I press on anything? <gasps> I can press on that. They come up with an interesting theme this year, haven't they? Yeah, the men and the women in intertwine with each other. I think it implies something about love and romance. A game about love. I like it. And I feel like this picture has another meaning as well. Something like there's always two sides to everything. Totally. I thought that too. Maybe we should incorporate love into our game. That could be really cool. Yeah, that sounds great. You should do it. We talked about her game idea for a long time and her teammates didn't go for it. Oh, so it never got made. She only told me that later. A good beginning. Okay. Can I do anything here? <gasps> I can be a creep and just fucking like all her pictures. People don't really write letters anymore, but I still think they're romantic. <gasps> Ooh, this tweet is essential to the plot. Absolutely essential. <laughs> After a long day. A weird day. People, okay, finally found a nice looking one. A long waited NS has arrived. Happy. Talking, taking a little holiday to do some writing and drawing. Watch five episodes in one sitting. Might need to cancel my subscription. Oh, they're cute. Made a meal today. Hadn't cooked it for ages. Almost forgot how to do it. Also practice my sketching. Busy. Like it all. <laughs> After the game, uh huh. My friends say even though I didn't, yeah, I can argue, yeah. Let's see if we get new prompts for this. Can I do something, dude? Um, I can't. Fuck, dude. I'm getting annoyed that it's not fucking letting me do anything else. Uh, I'm gonna go with this. I'm trying to find something good. Why don't we hang out with it? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Sherlock Holmes? What if what we don't need? For our date, okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna skip through this. <coughs> I press on everything, dude. There doesn't, <clears throat> there doesn't seem to have like anything. Hot pot. Yeah, no. <clears throat> Happy. <gasps> I 
I can see it. I can hear my heartbeat. There we go. Words will ruin the mood. There we go. I did it. What was the beginning of our story? That was the beginning of our story. Don't break the mood. Yes! We talk to each other all the time now. We always discuss things we liked. Can I press her stuff? Cat! Things <laughs> we we're eager to understand. Can I press? That is something I could do. Games are the art of it. the possibility. The possibilities are fascinating. Can I do a cat? Okay. Hmm. I want to. Cats are so cute. Cats heal everything. Ah, uh, guitar. Music cleanses the soul. I'm gonna play guitar too, bro, dude. Fucking can energy. <laughs> uh, can I do something? It's not letting me press uh, on anything else. Uh, okay. I mean, I try to press on her shit. God damn it, dude. Is this a given? Like, it's gonna happen either way? I gotta look at her. There! Holy shit. That was totally unfair. There's more! Oh! <laughs> All my colleagues are willing to defend me. That wasn't fair. How could they? It's not over. What happened? <laughs> and... I'm listening. And there's more. I know, I know she could handle all the things by herself. But I won't leave her to do it alone. I want to be a good listener. Someone she can share everything with. Be a listener. When you get closer, you start noticing flaws that you didn't see at first. Trouble always arises. Okay, yeah. Um... Is there anything I can... Oh, I can just do this. You look tired, baby. Go and get some rest. I'll take care of this. Relationship rely on mutual understanding, not changing who you are. Relationships can only last if each other respect the other. Oh. Time goes by so fast. Uh, three years ago, we met at a game jam. You came over to talk to me. When it comes to games, we've always been able to talk forever. We discussed the, the theme of the, that game jam. Well, you just kept going. We started chatting more after that. Gradually, you became the one I talked to the most. Do you still remember our first day? What's your, your favorite movie? Got, went to the fucking same, uh huh? Favorite restaurant? I didn't think you'd have prepared so much for our first date. It was really sweet. Do you remember the first time we held hands? That was beautiful night. You gently held my hand in silence. That was how we began. We had more time to get to know each other afterwards. We talked about what hobbies we ha had in common and shared everything about our lives. But our talks only ever scratched- What the fuck?! I've always wanted to share more personal thoughts with you. Though, I had a good time. Sometimes we fight. You're so stubborn. Uh, uh, you've always been such a great one. You always listen to all my little troubles. We're not perfect, 
but I'm glad we know how to balance our relationship. We can rely on each other equally. I've never shared my feelings like this before. I just want you to know how I feel. I hope that our next three years will be hap will be better. Happy anniversary. Oh, Can I get this? Let's go! Your name is Stan. As a kid, you lived in a small town where your father owned the only electrical repair shop. Back then, larger t large TVs weren't very common in your town. Children who didn't have a TV at home liked to gather at your house and watch cartoons on your dad's. One day, a new girl arrived. <gasps> you could tell by her clothes that she was from the city. While everyone was happily watching TV, she sat alone next to the radio, listening to music. Later, you learned it was called classical music. <laughs> She looked so pitiful and all alone. Wait, can I just... Can I go... Hey, why don't you come over here and watch cartoons with us? No, I prefer listening to music. Her eyes never left the radio. What's going on? Oh, <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm Stan. What's your name? Grace. My name is Grace. <laughs> Later, you found out Grace's parents were teachers who only had just arrived in town. A few days later, they had moved into the house next to yours. It didn't take long for you and Grace to become good friends. You went to the same, you went to the same primary school. You walked to and from together every day. There was a roasted sausage shop near the school, which was very popular with the students. You walked past the store every day, but Grace never seemed interested in the, <laughs> in the roast sausages. Whoa, what's going on? Can I do something here? Here's your sausage. Get her something, you dick! Uh, getting late. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you. I mean, uh huh. I think I needed to do this. It wasn't long before her parents bought her a real piano. Almost every day she got home immediately after school. It's so all I was meant to buy a fucking piano. After that, I really hung out be together, even at weekends. Gradually, you and Grace grew apart. All that was left was the sound of the piano you could hear from next door. The sound accompanied you for a whole summer. Aww. Wait. No, 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 no. Can I do something about this? Aww. Can I move? Am I like building her up? Oh, oh, oh! Happened suddenly. One day you could no longer hear the familiar piano sound. Then you heard Grace's family book move back to the city, and you haven't seen her again since. Holy shit! Today you dreamt of a girl, a girl who was very close to you. You don't know why. But you always thought this girl was very special. Sometimes you wonder if you two were still together. How would you? How would the story end? <clears throat> Sometimes you think maybe it only seems beautiful because of the distance and the time that has passed. That in fact, perhaps she wasn't special. As time passed, you think of her less and less. Oh shit. Was I meant to do something? Maybe you're only reflecting on these irrelevant things because you stumble across the radio while tidying up. It's time to sleep. You have a big day tomorrow.
far memory. Okay, let's try that again. Um. I think. Let's do this. Because I don't know if this one is. <gasps> no! Return to title screen. It's not this one. Okay, so. Playback token? You weren't... You walked... Okay. You walked then... Okay. Got it. You walked past this store every day. I need to do something here. I need to buy this. 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 Buy it. Buy it. Buy it, you cook. Oh. No. No haggling. Buy something or leave. <gasps> I bought her that. Did I buy her that? Whoa. Oh, so, okay. Days are passing, days are passing. Pa got it. So I'm just saving up money. Come on. No haggling. Buy something or leave. Okay. <laughs> We're saving up money for her. So cute. Okay, I don't think I'm meant to like... There. Maybe I meant to buy it. Oh. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I bought her a piano. <laughs> this is for you. Thank you. Thanks. It wasn't long before her parents bought her a real piano. So every day she'd go home immediately after school to practice. After that, you really hung out together, even on weekends. You could hear her sound of the piano coming from the country yard next door. I gotta get myself over there, my man. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know if I'm meant to do this, dude. <laughs> Aww. As you listen, you picture her phrase getting all excited whenever it came to the piano. At that time, you didn't know how to describe the feeling in your heart. It was kind of like a mixture of jealousy and yearning. <laughs> Fuck you, piano. <laughs> Maybe because Grace found her passion, you also wanted to find yours. You started fi to fix small things after school. We have tons of junk, your dad said. Don't do whatever you like with it. Over time, you, de you developed an interest in playing with these machines and electrical things. It felt especially good when you fixed something that was broken. In the last summer of elementary school, Grace suddenly called you and said, Metronome was broken. Oh, don't you worry about a girly pop. I'm gonna fix it right up. We'll be going to junior high school soon. Oh, she's sitting right next to me. <laughs> well, you have only one junior high school in town. No worries. Even if we're different classes, we still hang out sometimes. Yeah. Um... Okay, so maybe from here? <laughs> Can I move this? No. Uh. <laughs> Seems like something's stuck. Go get a screwdriver. Okay! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> she fucking stomps so loudly. Actually, yeah. Actually, I want to go to the music school in the city. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean to. There we go. It worked. <gasps> That's okay, you should. You really like playing piano, don't you? I've never seen you playing your piano. Would you like to play for me? <laughs> oh, oh, fuck you, game. Okay. Let's play. Let's <coughs> let's play together. I'll teach you. <laughs> it's a song I play often. Maybe you already memorized that melody. You play this one key. I'll do the rest. Love mouse. Uh. Never, uh, yes, okay. Never at the right time. You go first. It's okay. The secret up. The trick it. Okay. Hopefully, there's a. What the fuck? I'm not good at rhythms. Did you forget that melody? It's okay. I'll play again. Just listen. Can I do something? Oh, dude. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Let's try again. I fuck you. Okay, I, I guess I gotta wait. Did you forget the melody? Oh, the screen. Got it. Okay. As the last word faded, she softly kissed your face. <laughs> you didn't have time to react, neither to her sudden move nor the separation you were about to face. Oh, fuck this kid, dude! <laughs> you used to take, you used to take it for granted that you and Grace would always go to the same school and always be together. Of course, those were childish beliefs. In fact, the city was not so far from your town. But for children, the distance was enough to separate you from Grace com completely. <laughs> when you started junior high, you and Grace got your own mobile phones. They were the only way you managed to keep in touch with each other. <laughs> no, let's fuck it. When will you come back to town? I'm not sure. <coughs> Maybe next summer vacation. Can I talk to her? Have you heard? <clears throat> have you heard about the novel called Triple Door? <clears throat> I think that's a not to something. Everyone at school is talking about it. The other is a high school student, just like us, us a teenager. Nope, I haven't heard of it. <laughs> what do you think it will be like when we go to high school? I can't imagine. Um, have you heard of Jay Cho's music? No, is he good? <coughs> He's great. His songs. <coughs> His song. <coughs> oh shit. <coughs> His songs have their own style. 
They're quite unique. <clears throat> I think I'm losing my voice. Oh, I am. <laughs> I didn't notice what the fuck was happening. Oh, really? I'll give him a try. Yeah. Try them and tell me which one you like best. <gasps> have you got <clears throat> Have you got the game snake on your cell phone? Yeah, sure. What's your best score? Uh, Two thousand. How about you? About the same. A guy here said it, he got twenty thousand points. Nah, I don't believe him. <laughs> uh, will we come back to town this summer? With my parents this summer, sorry. School is so <coughs> school is so boring. Pianists like me have to learn physics. Yeah. Why does a future engineer need to know the name of a king from a thousand years ago? <gasps> hey Cho! My dad started small electronics factory to help a new household appliance manufacturer in town, so I'm learning how to design circuits now. <clears throat> so you're going to be an engineer, that's cool! You're done not- you've done not bad as well. At least you're a musician. Hey, what do you mean by at least? Okay. So... Han Han's new book, Riot on Changing Cities now. Did you read about it? Not yet, no. Um <gasps> They're drifting apart. I think I might have fucked up. Have you heard the radio show? Love No. It's really funny. You should give it a try. I'm sure it'll give you a laugh. It's that funny? Yeah, it's hilarious. Okay then, I'll give it a shot. My dad is planning to move the electronics factory to the city. That's great! By the way... By the way, how long has it been since we last saw each other? Jeez, dude. 2005? I gotta answer her, but I don't know how. Oh, fuck. I didn't know what, what he wrote. Then why are you laughing? I'm laughing at you, dummy. Aww. My dad bought me a new computer a few days ago. I'm playing Wa Warcraft 3? I bet all the boys in my class are playing it. Wow. I didn't think you'd have heard of uh, Warcraft. But no, my dad asked me to try to con coding a micro. Oh. You mean like programmer? So you could make a game for me, right? Oh, <laughs> not really. I'm not that kind of programmer. So what kind of programmer are you? One that misses you. <laughs> Jesus, don't. <laughs> oh. State recently, I don't feel like making any progress when I'm practicing. <laughs> so you wanna give up? No way. You know I'll never give up. <laughs> exactly. I know that as well as you do. Just keep trying and you'll be fine. <sighs> yes, I think. I, I think you're right. <laughs> I hate that I have to be doing this stupid voice when I'm fucking... Well, I'm tearing up. Fuck you guys. Uh, can I press anything here? Uh... Hey, why have you been reading re recently? I'm reading a book called Twaffle. What? What is Twaffle? It's an English test. Oh. 
In the summer of your second year of high school, your family decided to move the factory to the city. Of course, you were moving to the city with them. Five years have passed, but the distance between you and Grace was finally getting smaller. It takes three hours to drive from the town to the city. It's not exactly a huge distance, but still, you had seen each other for five years. You hadn't seen each other for f for five years. Can I press anything here? <laughs> Jump out the fucking window <laughs> or the door. What stopped you from meeting up? When you thought about it, you weren't sure what kind of relationship you had with Grace. Are we just friends? Probably not. Are are are, are there? Do I like her? Do I? I guess so. I'm getting sleepy. Uh, f five years ago, how does she- Ah! Am I meant to, like, click on these? I haven't arrived yet. I miss my friends, I guess so. Uh, she seems- Oh, scared the fuck out of me, dude. Oh my god. We're nearly there. Your father voice interrupted your daydream. You had a notice, but- there were now a lot of more buildings outside the window. <laughs> Can I press on anything? <laughs> you had arrived in the city where Grace lived. You wonder if you should ask her out right then and there. No. There was a famous amusement park in the city. You thought a date of amusement might be a good idea? It is. It is a very good idea. <laughs> <clears throat> it only took you a few days to realize that the city was ridiculously huge. It took three hours to drive from your town to the city. But it took nearly two hours from your new house to where Grace lived. In the last few days of the summer vacation, you finally went to the amusement park. On the phone by or by text, you always had lots to discuss. But in person, you could never find anything to say. It was awkward and embarrassing. You you walked side by side, keeping distance like someone standing between you. You last met Grace five years ago. You didn't know how to handle her your relationship with her. Maybe she was just as confused. While your brain was occupied by the, this mess, the sun slowly set. But you had to go home soon. No! Fair as well before going home? Okay. Do something, brother. Or you, girly pop. Do something. Jump out the fucking thing. I don't give a fuck. Do something. Actually, I did tell you this. But I'm good. Are you kidding me again? I'm going abroad to study music. I'll be leaving in a few days. In the small cabin. Here, her voice was so clear. You knew it was her dream. So it was... It was who to say I will let you go. <sighs> but you did slowly put your hand on hers. She didn't pull away. Like that, you spent those final moments in silence. <sighs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> a few days later, Grace boarded a flight to another country. Just as before, you kept in touch with Grace over the time, on, over the internet and by phone. But now, not only this instance between you, but time as well. Is your major in microelectronics fun? My course is called Digital Electronic Technology Foundation. Holy fuck, that's a mouthful. Does that sound fun? <laughs> Does that sound fun to you? <laughs> Not really. Digital is probably the opposite of fun to me. Yeah, I wouldn't call it fun either. But I recently thought it... It could... If I could develop my own MCU in the future, that would be pretty cool. I don't really know what that means, but you should totally go for it. Yeah, I will. Fuck, dude. Busy? <clears throat> yeah, there's another school concert coming up. Take it easy, just act like you did when 
you play piano with me, you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. It's been like 10 years since I played the piano with you. Don't you think I've made any progress since then? <laughs> so you recognize that you've been practicing and making progress, right? Just show them the results of all the efforts and everything will be fine. <laughs> Smarty pants. Thanks. I feel better now. Oh, Jesus. I'm a mess. <laughs> About <coughs> I found some people here who listen to Love Q. <coughs> I've joined a fan club here. There are lots of people in it. Yeah. They've got fans all over the world. <laughs> it would be great if you could join us. It would be great if I could join you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. What time is it over there? It's 10 p.m. <sighs> oh. Say good night. Still listening to Love Q. <laughs> yeah, but I still feel weird about it becoming an internet only radio show. That's no real difference to me. I can listen to it on the radio here anyway. Can't listen to it. <laughs> Let's listen to the next episode together. Together? How? We can just download it and press play at the same time. <laughs> you little genius. That's the only way. <laughs> Has, the <clears throat> Has the debt crisis had any effect on you? Not really. I thought you weren't bothered about finances events. Not really, but everyone's talking about it here. <laughs> it'll, hap it'll happen when it happens. There's nothing we can do about it. Right now, my biggest worry is my grades. Postgraduate exam? Yeah, I need a better grade for an opportunity to do more research about microchips. Cheer up, engineer guy. You can do it. Thanks. <laughs> oh my god. It's almost 9 a.m. where you are. Oh no, it's, nine, it's almost 9 a.m. where you are. Don't you have piano practice? <laughs> Today's Thanksgiving. It's a holiday. Oh, I see. Um. Can you leave where you are? You should go to sleep. Good night. I don't want to say good night, dude. <laughs> Hannah is on the cover of Time Magazine. Best-selling author, double champion of the car field. And really, he's so cool. <laughs> yeah, that is cool. I read all his books after you told me about Triple Door. Actually, I haven't read any of Hannah's books. <laughs> Since that one! Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> Love keeps back on the radio again. It's been two years! It's so cool to have it back on the radio again. Fans forever. Fans forever. Morning! I'm going to meet the professor today. Yeah, I hope I can leave a good impression because I have. I'll have to work with them for three years. Good luck. Thanks. The piano. <laughs> There's a public concert. I got a solo, solo piece. That's amazing. Don't worry, you can handle it. You play top of your studio, right? Stay confident, get through this, and you'll be a real pianist. You're right. I'm almost there. Yeah. Almost there. <laughs> it looks like the typhoon over there is really fierce. Are you okay? I'm sure I'll be fine. I'll, I'm, I'll stay home. Just don't go outside. I mean, it's clear for me, girly pop. <laughs> you sound like exactly like my mom. 
I'm serious here. Don't be mad. I'm not mad. Under the influence of time and distance, your lives were growing further and further apart. <sighs> Four years had passed, and you and Grace were both about to graduate. For a long time, there have been issues between you and Grace, though neither of you had mentioned it. Some problems were just never brought up because there was no solution. But that call was different. <laughs> no! I want to stay here and after I got you to join the orchestra, I might not be coming back. That's okay. The music you taught me before, I can play it by myself now. I wanted to surprise you when you came back. Is that not gonna happen? <sighs> <laughs> oh, I can't fucking press on anything. I don't want to press on. <sighs> Please come back. <sighs> I can't. I'll let you go, but I'll miss you. <sniffs> no, dude. Ah, uh, maybe you you'll miss me too. But if we force ourselves to be together now, that will eventually become the reason we hate each other. So let's work towards our dreams. Oh, dude, I'm going over a breakup again. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking crying. You fucking laughing at the same time. Oh, I fucking hate this game. Let's break up. Oh, fuck, dude. Maybe one day we'll be together again. Maybe not. Oh, fuck you, game. I hope we won't regret what we've been through. I hope we can say goodbye with a smile. Oh, fuck. I hope we can meet again with a smile. I still love you. I do. Thank you. For understanding me. For making this hard decision for me. Thank you. That night... You cried and you smiled. You talked a lot about each other, futures and each other, about all your hopes and dreams. You and Grace said goodbye to each other and said goodbye to your youth. Oh, dude, I want to hug somebody right now, bro. <gasps> Holy fuck. <laughs> After that, you and Grace worked hard to achieve your dreams and our times. Over time, your dreams came true one by one. <laughs> Grace became a pianist just like she said she, she always wanted. Her performance touched you, touched her hearts. Oh, wait, her performances touched hearts and brought joy to countless peoples. <coughs> <laughs> and you're fucking. You joined University Laboratory and started working with companies to develop electronic chips. The main task of the laboratory is the mass production and market applying applications of your country self development developed chips. You and Grace are still worlds apart, but you still listen to the same radio show in different time zones. Sometimes you like each other's tweets. You and Grace haven't seen each other for a long time. 
but you think that when you meet again, there will be a smile on both your faces? Oh my god! <laughs> oh fuck, dude. Oh my god. I was gonna say, don't make me go through that again. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I, I can't. I can't start right now, bro. Let me look at the fucking recording. Oh. Uh, I've been recording for an hour, dude. Oh my god. Holy fuck. I'm gonna restart the recording. Okay. Let's start the next fucking stupid ass. Please tell me they get back. I don't think they're getting back together, dude. I'm home. You're so late today. <coughs> Go have a shower, and I'll get dinner ready, okay? What am I doing? Oh, I'm matching. <laughs> the freshness of marriage life was washed away by early day long ago. Yeah. Most of our time is spent on our careers. Sometimes we don't even have time to eat dinner together. She thought while playing with her mobile phone. <laughs> Can I do something else? Her husband's phone rang. She's not, he's not cheating. The bastard is not cheating, right? <laughs> Mary. No, dude. You sure know how to get pick. Where are the cotton buds? Oh shit! I'll I'll get them for you. I can't, dude. It's better to speak about it as soon as you see it. It's it's my client. <laughs> A few days later, she hadn't found anything else unusual about her husband. She never told him about the message, but she always felt the same, uh, that he was hiding something. Hold on, give me a second, let me fuck it. Over the weekend, her husband was working overtime at his company. She decided to see what clues she could find in the house. Um... Recently, he's been playing with... This strange box a lot. Does it look like a fi like a figure? What is it? Ooh. Okay. Photos from our honeymoon. It's been three almost three years since our last vacation. She's she's uh, he's uh, she sighed. Holy shit! I can't talk. They don't cook very often. Fridge only has fruits and he drinks it. <gasps> I remember having a plate like this. Five, eight, four. I'm gonna take a picture of it. Five, eight, four. Got it. What does that mean? Oh, now I'm mad. Belly again. Before we brought Belly home, he promised we'd take care of her together. But I've ended up having to do everything myself. She thought. She thought while well, cleaning up cat poop. <laughs> I mean, it's not the cat's fault, honestly. Don't don't blame the fucking cat. My favorite fabric so sofa has been torn again by our cat Belly. I didn't want to get a cat because I knew it would ruin the sofa, but I was wrong. Who cares about the sofa when you have a cat? She told herself. Yeah, that is true. Hmm. I don't need to go to work today. I'll cook dinner for us. <gasps> what did I do? Oh. 
stop leaving dirty clothes just lying around? <laughs> I said a million times. There's a designer skirt in the bag. I don't remember buying that. Oh, girly pop. The Nile is a river in Egypt. Two oh one. Got it. It looks like I was thinner before I got married. Don't mention the one than the one next to me. Though he's a lot bigger now <laughs> than he used to. She touched her belly subconsciously. <sighs> Fuck man, dude. Okay, so we got we got what the f wait Hmm Xbox PlayStation Switch He's never been a big spender but he likes to buy games. What kind of good hobby? What 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 but it's kind of a good hobby these days, I guess. She thought as, as she looked at the console. <laughs> so many express, express boxes. He seems to have bought way more things than me than me recently. Let's have a look. What is this? A key? There's also this light strip and all this junk. He's definitely hiding something. Oh, I have a key. Let's go. What is this? I never thought I'd enjoy it, like these types of games. Holy shit. Has it fucking captivated me. There's nothing in the box. Okay. What is over here? Oh, just, we're back. Um... Okay, let's try to do this. So, the plate is this. So, five, eight, and then what was the other one? Let me see. Four, two, four, two, I think. Two, oh, two, oh, one. I'm sorry. Two, oh, one. Right? And then what we have to find is a square, dude. Nothing, nothing special. Okay, so I don't think I need to I can do anything there. Let's move. Belly, <clears throat> Belly is sleeping on our bed again. Oh, we took you. It is super cute. I love cats. I wish I could afford one. I said it looks big. He bought them just after we got married. But I lost my favorite one during our honeymoon. Oh. It happens, girly pop. Oh, I can go outside. I haven't done the laundry yet. Ooh. Dirty clothes, they smell terrible. I better do the laundry. There's some something stuck in the washing machine here. She unstuck the little card of the washing machine. Oh, <gasps> I got it. Okay, while the laundry is running, I'm gonna go do this. Okay, so I think we got everything. Three fourteen. Three. Oh shit! I passed it. God dang it! 
What is it? Don't tell me it's something creepy. Huh? Can I look at the pictures? Happy anniversary, please put the present here. Happy anniversary? That's what he's been hiding? I should put things back the way they were before he gets back. A few days later. It's so dark and the lights aren't working. It would be, it would be today, haha. <laughs> Whoa. What is going on? We have food here. It's, it's so delicious. Oh, scans. Oh. Yeah, it's my favorite brand of cheesecake. The flag on it looks so familiar. The little dumb bastard was fucking. You fucking idiot. <laughs> wow, the lipstick I lost. Here's a little card saying I asked my friend. I asked a friend to buy this for you. Is it the right color? Doesn't matter. <laughs> no, said the most. Beautiful dress for the most beautiful wife. Oh. <laughs> okay, at least this one's happy. I think. Oh, I bet it won't be an empty box this time. <laughs> she thought. And opened the drawer. It's locked. Oh, wait. There. A pen? Dear wife, please bring this magical pen with you. Okay. Did you fucking get the laundry out of the fucking laundry shit? <laughs> it's so dark here. With the light flickering, the words of the paper can barely be read. Princess, please connect the two hearts with the magic pen. I suppose, I suppose this is the magic pen. I think I just need to connect these two hearts. <laughs> wow! As soon as the lights came on, she was impressed. <laughs> Jesus. This necklace is a gift for me? This tiny Christmas tree. I, be I remember it, it was here. <laughs> that card. Man, I hope, dude, that'd be. Oh, dude. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm done. I got, I got that and I got that. Where did I get the last thing? It's locked from the inside. I'll just pretend I don't know what he put inside. Three fourteen. I think I should leave this till last. Yeah, but I don't remember where the fuck the thing, like the other thing was. Should I put it on? Okay, so we were over here. I'm pressing everything. <laughs> I 
She takes off the fucking uh, sun cover and just flashes her. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can do anything here. So I, I think I have to follow it. So green. Right? No, yeah, this is supposed to be. So... Five... Eight... Four... And then... The fucking thing was 201, right? Ah, oh, I passed it. <laughs> and then... Three... Fourteen. Stuff. We did it, but we never caught anything. <laughs> we moved in here, we assembled the furniture ourselves to save money. My graduation photo. We went skiing together next to you. I never felt that cold. Our last anniversary, we went to a fancy restaurant. I got a fright when I saw the bill. <laughs> Oh, it's this whole thing. Aww. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> this was when I first started cooking by myself. <laughs> but I am a good cook now. He loves video games. I play, and we play together sometimes. The day we picked up Belly, she was so small. A starry sky, and we were all away. What a beautiful place! The premiere of Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, I really like that movie. <laughs> oh, you're still waiting photos. I was never. I was so nervous. I was terrible. I was a terrible model. <laughs> Some panties in there. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Please put the present here. I think I should put the present here. What person? Oh shit. Is this the person? Uh, I'm a little confused, uh, soldier boy. So I got that. Can't go over there. Hmm. So we go this way. I'm gonna follow the blue. First up here. Wow, it's a lipstick. Yeah. Then that box. Two or one. Then this. Right. And then we go back. No, I'm getting confused. Wait. Where does the blue line come from? Oh! Oh, I did it out of order! It was... Okay, so then here... Press that... Right, and then do this... But what's here, though? Okay... I think I'm missing something here... I'm pressing everything. Maybe I'm not. So then we go back to green. We go over here. And here, but I don't know what's over there. Here. 
Oh, oh! Happy anniversary. Wow! Freddy showed up. Her eyes were already wet with happy tears. He wiped her. I am all out of tears right now, bro. They embraced. <laughs> Under flickering candlelight, they enjoyed the fancy dinner he had prepared. I'm probably the luckiest person in the world, she thought while eating her meal. <laughs> I wish I hadn't known about all this. Trust him. There must be a better choice. Okay, then just sit it down, no? Uh, hello? Oh no, that's those are the settings. Um, I don't know, dude. I might have fucked up. Oh. <laughs> and. Wow. What a lovely game, dude. I, I fucking hated it because it made me cry. But that's great, you know? Um, damn, I'm happy I played this. I, I, I'm happy I found this. I'm just, yeah, I'm kind of just smiling like these two, just, just happy, happy it happened, and we get to see everything. <gasps> I missed a couple things. I'm not a fucking. Wait, is there? Is there one that they end up together? Oh, there's another ending. I don't want to get that ending. I don't want them to fucking... Oh, but... I think I'm done with this with this uh, game. I think I might play it just on my own to see the other endings. But, yeah, I'm just super happy I played this. Jesus. Like... Wow. It, it really shows that it doesn't... It doesn't need... A game doesn't need a... a Huge fucking graphics or anything. It just needs a really good story and and a, and a really good music to captivate it with too. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like if you liked the video. Comment down if you had uh, any tears rolling down your cheeks or you were crying the whole time. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.